Good morning, everybody. It is day number two of vacation. I am so, I can't drink coffee. I like try to because I need it, because I need to wake up and use that routine. We're gonna try it, but I've been going for ginger ale. And there's this new ginger ale and it's diet ginger ale with lemonade, really good. I've been trying to drink that to like calm. I've been, you guys, so sick, so sick. I felt like at the end of January, I felt weird. And then all of March, I didn't feel right. And come to find out, I now know why. Uh, and now we're here and yeah, I'm excited to go to the doctor. I'm excited to take you guys with me on this little pregnancy journey uh, because I did not think at 33, I would be having another baby, but here I am. All right, I'm gonna make this cup of coffee and then we are gonna go sit outside and drink it. And drink this. We're gonna attempt to drink that. How was your run? Really good. All right, I have you guys set up on a paper towel roll. I am making some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for my kids. Everybody's off to the pool, so which is just like a short little walk down, down like the main hallway. But we are going to hang out there. And then our plan for today is we have a dolphin excursion. Here's a little known fact. Dolphins are like sonograms. This is what the lady was saying. And they respond to pregnant people. I'm really glad that I took a test before I came down here. Uh, they like will poke at pregnant women. They like can see the baby or something crazy. I don't know, you guys can look up dolphin facts. The internet for sure knows more than I do. But that was the disclaimer. She asked Cody, I guess when he was booking it, if anybody was pregnant and Cody told her. And she was like, oh no, they will definitely poke at her if they see like a baby or something. I don't know what happens, but something crazy. But that was one of the excursions that we had originally planned on doing in the Bahamas. So I'm glad that they had excursions like that down here that we could replace the cruise excursions with because my kids were really, really looking forward to petting a dolphin. So we're gonna do that at two o'clock today. And then I'm just gonna sit on the side and they said I can take pictures and stuff, so. That is what I am going to do. Uh, canceling my cruise, let's talk about that. So I had until Monday night at 10 p.m. is when my personal vacation planner lady was gonna be leaving the office. She said, you know, you have until 10 to cancel it to A, get all of your port fees and excursions and like drink packages all of that reimbursed you and then the fee that you paid per person per room will go towards a future cruise credit which is great and everything but you have until march of 2021 to use it and i'm thinking like i'm not going to be taking a four-month-old baby on a cruise so i have no idea i guess the the baby will be like five months. I don't even know how long. I'm terrible at figuring out dates and stuff. But I don't. I just don't know when I'm gonna use that. So that's money is just sitting out in La La Land until I figure out what I'm gonna do with it. But we're here, and I'm happy to be in Key Largo. It is really, really pretty down here. I could see me like retiring in a place like this. Retiring, like at, I don't know, what is retiring age, 65? So I've got like half of a life left. Because I'm 33, so 
66. I got some time. Uh, why, how did I get on that? Anyway, so at like 9.45, let's get back to that story. 9.45 on Monday, I canceled it. And I would have never made it on the cruise ship. Not that I'm scared of the coronavirus. I'm not really scared of it. Like, I think I'll be fine, but somebody like my grandma would not be. And so, yeah. I think I would have got seasick too. I heard that that boat like really sways and rocks. I just wouldn't have done well on it at all. The airport was super eerie. There wasn't a lot of people. However, our Allegiant flight was full. And I don't think I've ever been on a full Allegiant flight, but it was a lot of college kids. I guess they're on spring break or off school because Ohio is doing that thing where the kids are off. Yeah. Part of me is like, maybe I should just stay here. I gotta get back home. My cat this morning puked, peed, and pooped on the countertop. So I feel terrible. I really should get him to him. He's just getting old, you guys. Like real old. And kind of like senile. But I, I also know the time is going to come where Harley will no longer be here. And I understand that because he's old. Alright, I'm going to wrap these sandwiches up. If you can't see what I'm doing, I'm just sticking them in my bag. I get super hungry when I go swimming. Do you guys get like that? I get like real, real hungry. Anyway, I'm going to go bring these down to the pool. I'm half debating whether or not I should go ahead and put in a little laundry, but I might wait until tomorrow to do that. I guess I'll just see how much laundry we have. I'm really happy because I've packed pool towels. I'm happy that I did that. Okay. All right. Well, let's take this down and see what my people are doing. Oh, that was a six minute conversation. We're now done at the pool. We're gonna go get some pizza because that is what I am craving. So we're gonna go eat some lunch. I'll show you what I get. And I'll check with you guys in a little bit. The time for us to go, I guess, do the dolphin thing is two o'clock. It is 12.01 right now. So feeling real nauseous. Real nauseous, real sleepy. That looks so good. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, okay, this one is all right. Here, give me a. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, okay. Hello, guys. Now I'm talking, it's a mouth. It's a mouth. It's a mouth. So, I'm going to just want to dress. Oh, can I sit in the front? Yeah, I can sit in the front. Can you see it, Sienna? Oh, my gosh. Look at Sally. This is worth the money right now. Yeah, really. All right. Follow that guy. Yeah, if you want to. It's not super hot, but. Oh, look at how cute it is. Yeah. 
So we're uh, in the community. Maybe you can before our guest reaction session. Oh, We're back from the dolphin excursion thing. I have never heard of Dolphins Plus. Apparently, I feel like the way, I haven't looked it up yet on the internet, but I feel like the way that they were talking, there's more than one of these Dolphin Plus places. I'm not, don't hold me to that, but I'm thinking that there is quite a few. Anyway, uh, we got back and everybody got changed. I could tell in my kids the attitudes that they needed to, not that they have, bad attitudes or anything like that but I could tell that they just needed to chill out considering we just got here yesterday I felt like they just needed to chill so Cody is going to pick up even more pizza because I've been just wanting pizza and he's gonna bring it back here I think pizza and like french fries I don't know he's gonna decide what appetizer they have that's to go friendly and then while he went to go pick up pizza I me 
Skylar and Jet went and dropped laundry off of the washing machine. And then I timed it on my phone for 30 minutes and then I went back and put the stuff in the washer into the dryer. They have a like, guest laundry area. And it's so funny that it's down here because it's outside, like a washer and dryer. They had two sets of washer and dryers that were down here. Like really itchy, I think a no see, whatever those things are, got me. But yeah, I put that in the dryer and then it said it takes 60 minutes. So at 7.47, I need to go back over there with my suitcase and get all of my clean laundry, clean laundry back. But we're out of like socks. And I feel like, I don't know, we go through so much laundry anyway. Now I'm just mumbling about laundry. You guys know how it is when you go on vacation. I feel like with kids, you just go through a lot. I also saw, so this restaurant across the little inlet bay thing is a restaurant called Sharky's. And they will prepare fish that you catch like fresh catch fish and then make it into whatever you want it you can have like a fish sandwich whatever so cody and jed are going fishing on sunday backwater backcountry like very chill fishing and i'm hoping that the catch this stuff so we can go over there and eat tomorrow i'm not sure if we're going to do the glass bottom boat tour which takes you to a living coral reef which is right off of florida actually i think it's the only one in the united states down here in florida like in the keys again i probably should google that but the boat has glass bottom you can see underneath you so i would like to go do that we'll just see if that happens because other than that we don't have any plans and i'd like to do something on sunday they're gonna go fishing we may either just spend the day at the pool getting sun or we might just drive around and like try to find a beach even though the keys are not known for their beaches they're like not existent down here we may try to find one we'll see if you guys have any recommendations let me know but that is our plan for sunday and then monday we go home so that's all i have to tell you yeah I just can't believe how crazy stuff in the world is going on. The people down here that live down here seem to not have a care in the world. Like it doesn't, it's not affecting these restaurants. There's people walking around. There's not many people, but there's definitely people all around. So, I don't know. I don't know. Part of me doesn't really want to go back home. And then part of me is like, but you like have to do things. So, all right, I'll talk to you guys when the pizza gets here. Yeah, that looks like a winner. I bet it's actually good when you eat it. I think the pizza, first to look, not, not. That place is so dead. I mean, there's over there. Why? I mean, there's tons it's of people over there. Coronavirus. No, nobody cares about that down here. Look at that place. Packed. Mmm, yum. So the pizza is done and eaten. It tasted a lot better than it looked, for sure. But it's, it's kind of chilly. We'll see how much it is. I, I don't really know. But I have a little pouch full of quarters that we're going to stop at the vending machine because I really want something sweet and so do my kids and then we're gonna go pick up the laundry in my little in my little case ready we're also going in our pajamas but it's fine right it's fun yeah. now i'm ready okay why do you have your suitcase oh laundry. We, yeah we gotta pick up the laundry i think he forgot about our talk were you going to just say that? We had a long talk about being polite and not running around. And I'm doing good so far. Yes, you are. Oh. Here we go. All right. Oh, there are various prices. 
some is a dollar. Some is odd prices, like 80 cents. Um, what, are, what are you feeling like? All oh, popcorn? We have some of that, though. I wish that they had Twix. I love Twix. All right, what do you pick? I want. They have Oreos. Oh, Snickers are good. I want the peanut M and M's. Okay, Jet, what do you pick? Mm, peanut M and M's too. So what do you good. pick? I'm choosing over Skittles and peanut and peanut M and M's. I think I'll do regular. Okay, really Jet, what do you think? I don't know about M&M's. Um, right. I would do the s'mores thing. Wouldn't you? I'll do M&M's. Um, peanut M&M's. Peanut M&M's. Alright, we got everything. Well, not everything. Yeah, well now we got clean clothes though. But we didn't have enough money to get M&M's. But we'll send... We'll send Dad down. Pick up, pick up Dolphin. Okay. We are going to go ahead and end today's vlog right here. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. But we're going to sit and watch American Ninja Warrior Jr. I think it's like 8, 8.16. And that's it. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright, bye.